One of the core elements of Rumiko Takahashi's 2019 manga, Mao, is its use of Onmyodo. Onmyodo is a spiritual system of relationships between elements in nature and the way that they relate to one another. Sometimes, Onmyodo has been translated as the art of yin and yang, and the practitioners called Onmyoji as yin-yang diviners. Takahashi has long incorporated elements of Japanese history and the supernatural together, and Onmyodo is an ideal framework to build a compelling story around. Because of the philosophy's esoteric nature, its real-life historical use was multifaceted. Primarily, Onmyoji were the keepers and designers of the calendar, keeping track of when solar and lunar eclipses would take place, denoting auspicious or worrisome days when important events should occur or be avoided. The more magical aspects frequently depicted in modern manga were also ascribed to Onmyoji historically. From Noriko T. Reader's book, Japanese Demon Lore, Oni from Ancient Times to the Present, the author writes, It was believed in this period, the Ingi Tenryaku era of 901 to 947, that the practitioners of Onmyodo could use magic, and that some could see and even create Oni. Komatsu Kazuhiko writes that the foundation of the practitioner's magical force is Shikigami, or invisible spirit. Using Shikigami, the practitioners were actively involved in the lives of aristocrats. The Onmyoji, or yin-yang diviners, used their magic at the request of their royal and aristocratic patrons, and not infrequently against their patrons' political enemies. From a historical standpoint, the concepts arrive in Japan from China during the Heian period. It becomes insinuated into political life as famous Onmyoji help to determine where the capital should be moved to. Eventually, Onmyodo falls into a decline as it is viewed with more skepticism over the centuries. By the 1800s, it is treated as folklore and fortune-telling and little more. A law was passed in October of 1870 that formally abolished the Onmyodo department within the government that was responsible for the calendar and kept track of astrological events and managed the water clock. Originally, Onmyodo was connected to the Chinese concept of yin and yang, as well as the five elements, fire, water, wood, metal, and earth. The five elements, known in Chinese as Wu Xing, were also associated with the five known planets at the time, Venus, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Each of the elements interacts in differing ways, generative or destructive. For instance, wood serves as kindling for fire. Fire creates earth via lava. Earth contains metal. Metal collects water vapor. Water sustains trees, allowing wood to grow. This is how one element gives rise to another in a cyclical pattern. This aspect of Onmyodo has not been addressed in Mao yet. Instead, the manga tends to focus on the destructive or disruptive capacity of each element upon the other. Wood, for example, drains the earth of nutrients. There's not been an example of this particular interaction in Mao as of the time that we've made this video. Earth dams the water, Nanoka versus the water creatures, or another interesting scene where Otoya explains how he was able to break a water seal on Hyaka's hand due to his earth affiliation. Water extinguishes fire, Ginbu, a water creature defeating the mosquitoes who are fire associated, as are all birds and flying insects. Fire warps metal, as we see in the battle between Hyaka and Hakubi. And metal harvests wood. Kamon would be weak against Hakubi, should they ever battle. These elements, the Wuxing, were connected to traditional medicinal techniques as well. The five elements were each connected to one of the five fingers on a hand, the five senses, the five stages of life, the five flavor profiles for food, in addition to the five known planets that we previously discussed. Consequently, it becomes easier to imagine how these concepts were all thought to be connected. Onmyodo could be used for healing as well as astrological predictions, casting curses, battling demons, and performing exorcisms. The Wuxing concept of the elements would later influence the Japanese concept of Godai. In Godai, the five elements are earth, water, and fire, with wind and void replacing metal and wood. This is but a brief primer on the basics of Onmyodo. We will also discuss in future videos the major historical Onmyoji 
and how they fit into the story of Mao.